I'm feeling better. I'm still clearing out a lot of congestion and stuff. We've had illness in my house. Uh, actually, my wife is homesick again today. It started three weeks ago. My wife got strep throat. Oh, boy. She tested positive for strep. And then, um, well, I won't get into it. There's antibiotics in, Bob. Yeah, we've been we just been sick. We've been sick. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. But uh so I'll go ahead and get started. Thanks for joining everybody that could. Uh hey Dr. Mental. Hi, Dr. Mental. Hi, Lynn. So you can't see me, but hi. Hi there. <laughs> so I'm gonna um talk to today you. about some and really this is just kind of pointing out resources. I won't I won't go too into depth. I've done some videos before on how to use some of these things, but I kind of just want to get people aware of uh, writing resources that we have access to. Their Liberty has a writing center too also that um, I don't know how applicable but it would be for publications that we were doing at the medical school, but they do have a writing center and some of this stuff connects to that. But um, I've shared some things on our Lucom library page that the Jerry Falwell library has built and that's most kind of what I'm going to show today. Um, and I, I might have shown this as part of something else before, but I kind of want to ha have it all together in one uh, recording or one Teams session. So if you go to the Lucom Library page uh, and you scroll down, you'll see Lucom Library Resources, Jerry Falwell Library Resources, and Databases. And if you expand this uh, Jerry Falwell Library Resources, the one that I figured was most uh, applicable to us, and they did this with the nursing program down there, is the AMA writing guide. And if you click on that, well, if I can click on it, um, it'll take you to the guide. This is a lib guide that was built by some of the librarians over at JFL. Um, it's based off of the AMA um, 11th edition writing style manual. Um, and it's kind of cool because it's got style formatting examples. It's got examples um it kind of gives you sample papers that you can download so if you're not sure or this is master of public health but it, it gives you an idea of how to format with your abstract and your introduction um and how that should be formatted um there's a template that you can download so if you want to just something that where you can fill in your own information you can get that there's structured abstracts which is a little different um, from non-structured abstracts if you've done AMA papers. So you guys have heard of MRAD. So there's a, there's a style for a structured abstract that you do um, for AMA papers that's got introduction, methods, results, and discussion. Uh, and that's just kind of a different way to, to do that. But there's guides, there's templates and samples for that as well. It's got information on your margins and alignment, what your headings should look like. Um, it's got formatting for your references. I've done other uh, team sessions on citation managers, and I'll show a little bit about that too here, just so you can know you don't have to know how to. This is they've got this manual of style here for how you can do your references, but there's a there's some pretty cool tools that you have access to that kind of do that for you. Uh, but there's tabs up here um, for in-text citations for your AMA style. And your reference list for how you should, again how you should do your um, journal articles, books, and ebooks, uh, WHO reports, and other citations. MPH resources they've got um, specifically for masters of public health uh, students that are doing those. Um, but that's just this is here. Um, there's a link here, I believe, to see if I can find. Yeah, the online writing center. So there's an on-campus writing center. There's an online writing center. If you want really more specific, really, really specific guides to writing, they could help more than I could probably. I mean, I'm familiar with a lot of this stuff, but that's all they do there. Um, I also wanted to point out. If I can find. Um, there's an APA writing guide. I didn't link to this one. I know Dr. Mental, maybe you use this one. Um, but they have a they built a libguide for APA style guide too. Uh, it's kind of cool because they break it up into formatting for undergraduate and for graduate or professional uh, publication. Um, I'm guessing really even our medical students, if they're publishing things with using APA style, they're considered professional, so they're probably going to want to use the, the for the graduate students. Uh, but it's got um, the guide here. It's, it links to the APA uh, citation manual uh, edition seven. Um, it's got uh, formatting again with um, 
how you can set your your uh, margins and how you how you format your paper. It's got your in-text citation examples. Um, but again, um, I'm going to show you where you can find citation managers, which I've showed before that let you um, do some of this kind of do it for you. Uh, and this also has a reference page for books and ebooks and journals and articles and miscellaneous citations. Um, I don't have a link to the APA style guide lib guide. This, this again, this was built by JFL. Uh, I linked to the, the AMA style. I guess I could add the APA writing guide link here. Um, something I'm not online. You can get it online if you need it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and something else I don't link to, but I, I, I think I've mentioned before. Um, this is something I used when I was an undergrad. Um, Purdue Owl uh, is a pretty cool uh, free resource. Um, I, I used to use MLA Guide, but they've got APA in here. I don't know if they have AMA, but they've got all kinds of resources um, for how to format your papers, sample, uh, sample citations, sample papers. Um, so that's just another resource to be aware of. I use that a lot when I was an undergrad. Um, we didn't have as many resources at the at the school I went to when I was an undergrad. Um, so those are just some of the the style guides that we have access to. Um, again, I've got AMA here. I'll add. I think I'm going to add the APA style guide, and I may even add the Owl, the Purdue Owl, there. Um, so those are those are style guides you can use. The other thing I want to point out is RefWorks. Um, and I've talked a little bit about this. If you're interested in this, I've done a video just on RefWorks that's on the LibGuide that you can find. Maybe I'll do another one soon just to kind of update it. But um, this link goes to the login for RefWorks and you have access to this. Liberty University actually purchases access to this for you. So you have this is not a free resource, but you have access to it through your um, through your uh, access with Liberty um, and they've changed the way they do this a little bit. We use Open Athens. Um, so I already have an, a, an account, but if you look up Liberty, if you're doing this from off campus and you look up Liberty University, you'll find it there and um, OK, well. <laughs> Maybe I'll just try to sign in the way I used to. OK, well, maybe, maybe because I, I I used this before we used Open Athens. Maybe that's why. But um, I've, I've done videos on this before, but this is a resource you have access to that you can use on the web to build your um, citation library. Uh, and what's cool is if you want to use this on the web, you can um, there's a plug in for um, Word that lets you use this in Word, but you can on the web here, you can select your citations, you can create a bibliography. Um, it automatically you can choose like I'm look like AMA if I want to use AMA it creates it for me automatically so I can copy and paste that copy it to the clipboard um, if you go to Microsoft Word and I'm finding open up a blank document here and you go to where is the where you actually I can't remember now where I where I found it what you want to do is you want to go to the Microsoft Store, uh, the online Microsoft Store, which is available in one of these ribbons. I can't remember which one it's in because I've had the oh, here it is. So under insert under get add ins. Um, you can search the you can search the Microsoft Store. OK, well, it is available. You can search for it and you can find the RefWorks citation manager and it installs this. You'll see I've got RCM here at the top of my word. And it's got RefWorks Citation Manager. And once you've signed in an account and created your RefWorks account on the web here that we've looked at already, uh, when you're using the RefWorks Citation Manager, it connects to those projects that you have in the web browser. So I can, um, as I'm writing my paper, um, and I want to add a citation, It'll automatically pull the citation from my project here and add the the correct. Well, that's going to hang, of course. This is not in the best example, um, but it'll add the citation for you. And it can also what's kind of cool. Let me see if I can escape this. Let's try it again. Let's 
So if I go to RefWorks Citation Manager, it's already open. OK, well, you're, the way this is supposed to work is that it'll actually insert the citation for you. And what's kind of cool is that if you want to use the uh, the Microsoft Word to as your to insert your citations, you can actually toggle on uh, create bibliography. Where, where do I do it here? So there's a there's this if you look at this little ellipses here at the top, you're, and again you can choose different styles. Right now I'm looking at AMA, but if you click on the little ellipses, you'll see bibliography on, and you turn that on. And what's cool is as you as you do citations, I'm going to try this one more time, and if it doesn't work, then I'm just not going to try to share this anymore. Um, but as you as you write your paper, say I cite that. Okay, well, I don't know what's going on with that. I want, or I want to insert citation. It's not letting me do it. It'll create your bibliography as you write your manuscript so it'll add those citations to your bibliography so you don't have to go into this this web browser and select your citations and create bibliography and copy and paste it you can actually create it as you're as you're writing your manuscript at microsoft word maybe you chose this as my first sentence and i can't cite that maybe that's the issue well it doesn't it's not looking at your sentence it's just it's choosing whichever one of these let me see if i do this there you go it added at that time. There oh, we yeah. go. So I don't know why cite this is not working, but insert citation. So you'll see that it adds my my uh, citation here, and then as I'm writing my manuscript, it's adding those to my bibliography. So as you write your manuscript, when you're done, you'll have the bibliography formatted in whatever style you like. Now, um, you where do you get this bibliography? You have to type it in as you go along. I can show you that. So what it's it's word is, is using my citations to create the bibliography as I'm inserting my citations. But where you can get your citations, um, this is something I've shown before. Just as an example, if you use pub our PubMed mm -hmm. and say I look up hypertension because that's always the example I use and I find a couple citations here and I want to send to my citation manager. And it will create an RIS, or excuse me, it creates an NBIB file. So then if I go back to my RefWorks, this is where we where we signed into our account and I can add import references and I want to import from a file and there's that NBIB file. And if I import it, Here's my citations. So now they're in my project. They're in my project manager in RefWorks. And so now I can use these citations in my Word document. And as I cite them, if I have bibliography on as I'm writing my manuscript, it'll create my bibliography for me. Does that make sense? This is kind of a lot. Of, it's a lot of information for a short 15 minute thing, but mostly I just want people to be aware that these are available. If this is something that you need help with, if you want me to um, help you with your your manuscript or help you with your citation style or any of these ref the citation managers, I'm happy to come to your office or we can do it in the library. Whoever has interests, I'm happy to sit down with and talk more about it. Mm -hmm. The uh, the other thing, last thing I wanted to point out that you have av available to this is not something officially supported. Um, well, I shouldn't say not supported. It's not it's not purchased by um, Liberty but there is a Zotero citation manager, and that's actually an application. Um, and if I go to, um, it's the application you can, it's free. It's a free and open source software application, um, and it works very similarly. You can export your citations from any of the databases you're using, whether it's PubMed or Medline or Clinical Key, and you can import those citations into your Zotero uh, citation manager and then there's a there's a plugin for word that connects to your Zotero application as well so I can use my um, add add or edit citation 
and add or edit a bibliography using Zotero. It's just another option. Zotero is free. I like Zotero. Honestly, the reason I got into Zotero was because I was having trouble making this RefWorks Citation Manager work with my Microsoft Word for a while. But I actually learned eventually that it was user error. Just it was, I don't know how I came across this, but um, if you have trouble using RefWorks, the plugin in Word on your computer, make sure that you are using the Office 365 version of Word. It looks very similar to Office to, uh, 2016 or Word 2016. So I actually had Word 2016 installed on my computer, which will not work with the new RefWorks Citation Manager. So if you run into that problem, make sure you go to the Office 365 website, install the Office Suite, from Office 365, that will give you the Word 365 version, and then you can install the RefWorks Citation Manager, and that will work. But Zotero is another option for a Citation Manager for writing your manuscripts if you want. I've been using so. something, Rob, called Chegg. Have you heard of that? I've heard of it. I haven't used Real it. Do you easy, like it? Super easy. It keeps keeps all your references there, imports them really easily. So, okay. I just this was also confusing to me, and then. Um, depending on the, uh, you can choose your, depending on the journal you're submitting to and what, you know, format they want, you can choose it in that one too, really easily. So it was just right. a lot easier. Yeah. And yeah. that's, that's whatever, whatever yeah. works. I, I may yeah. look into it and see if we could do another, do a video on that, but yeah. this is, this is mostly just, I want people to be aware of resources that are available, um, and that let you know that I'm happy to help however I can, if you guys are working on a paper. Um, if you want more information about some of these things, let me know. We could we could sit down and look through. It's kind of a lot of stuff to talk about in 15 minutes, but um, mostly I just kind of want awareness, you know, of what of some of the things you guys have. So great. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Yep. Thanks. Absolutely. Have a good day, guys.